Welcome to Take Me to the Rivers YouTube channel. Come often, subscribe, tell your friends. I'm Martin Shore, producer, director of Take Me to the River and Take Me to the River YouTube channel. This week, we are talking about a film that I did that I completely love, uh, the family, the music, called The Mad Hannons. And with me today is one of my really great friends, amazing musician, storyteller, songwriter, one of the founders of the Mad Hannons. Jerry Hannon, welcome. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Well, happy St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. Yeah, it is, huh? <laughs> Tis. <laughs> so, Jer, uh, <clears throat> it's been a little while since we, uh, we filmed this. We went around the world uh, with it, or at least to Europe. Right. We won the Manchester International Film Festival, came in second, I think, for the Irish International Film Festival in Ireland. It was a great experience then, and the pandemic came. We were supposed to have a, a limited engagement here locally at the Rafael Theater, which we are so excited that we are doing that. Right, this, on Saturday. This Saturday, mm -hmm. right? It's a Saturday, two days. Reflecting on the film, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts? Good documentary of what happened. I think it tells it pretty accurately. A very emotional time of my life. Yeah. That's the biggest punch I've ever taken in my life, I think, when my little brother died. Well, yeah. what's, what's interesting to me is it feels fresh every time I've seen it over the course of the couple of years that you know, we've finished the film. Mm -hmm. And due to the pandemic, we again, we're going to the Rafael Theater and there's a lot of start, stop, start, stops. So right. it's really it's cool that we're getting to do this a little bit more removed than normal, right? I think that is cool too. Yeah. In a way, view it more objectively for me. Right. I and mean, it was really, the first time I saw it, I was, you know, emotional wreck, right? It'll be easier to celebrate it, I right. think, and look at the positive side of things. And the pandemic looks like it's in the rear view, hopefully, now. That's right. So we were going to do this different type of interview. So Jerry was going to tell me the questions to ask uh, oh, him. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> what is going on in music? What did I do during the pandemic? So, Jerry, I was wondering, um, what did you do during the pandemic, and what was the silver lining for you? Uh, it was obviously, you know, dark for everybody, but uh, the silver lining was that I was renting a room to my guitar player, Eric, so we had some musicians in the house. So I got a lot of music accomplished mm. and a lot of uh, put a really great band together that I'm having a lot of fun with now and it's kind of revived my musical life and I'm ready to go now I mean well now that the doors are opening everywhere our film is finally you know we're able to show it at the Rafael why don't we say about <laughs> April 10th it'll be available for streaming right right around that area mm -hmm and it'll creep up on different types of platforms, so keep your eye out for it. Uh, you recently had a chance to play a really interesting show, and we're gonna see a video of that. So tell us a little bit about you know, the new material and kind of how you've been showcasing that stuff. So yeah, there is new material. This song in particular, uh, Open Door, is something that Sean and I had worked on years ago and never released and never really put it together. So I put that, it's a beautiful song. I put it together with the whole band and we recorded out at the Marshall Tavern in Marshall, California, which that tavern has been boarded up for 40 years. Wow. And we know the person who bought the tavern, Gary Dowd, and we broke in there and swept the floor, loaded in <laughs> gear, camera crew, a recording engineer and the whole thing and a small audience of maybe 30 people fired away see what came of it fantastic this video that we've made is from that let's take a look at that right now let's check it out I need someone to hold me tight To keep me warm and satisfied To pick me up when I feel down 
So let's talk a little bit. So let's talk a little bit about so Saturday. 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 Saturday is going to be so fantastic. Please so please at come Theater. at the Raffel Theater. Uh, Saturday, seven uh, Saturday, seven o'clock. Um, there will, um, will be a Q and A after, as well as a short performance by Jerry and his guitarist Eric. What are you looking forward to most in this this experience, other than the fact that it's a bit of a homecoming for us? Right. I mean, we hadn't screened, you know, since we came back from. So it'll be great. So it'll be great to see everybody. Hopefully, people will come down and check it out. A lot of people have seen it already at the Mill Valley. I just, festival. Have a better, I just have a better, a good feeling about it. I can't wait to see it. Some people will be seeing it again, and I get to see their response. See their I'm response. looking forward to seeing. I'm looking the, forward to seeing the the community. community. You know, it's it's a it's a nice, really um, uh, fun loving, uh, fun loving mm -hmm. crowd uh, likes that uh, to likes to have a good time, and I'm looking I'm looking forward to kind of that. That experience, it happens at your shows, at your shows to a great to degree well, still like, as well. And I'm like, looking I'm, one I'm looking for one of those Jerry classic Hannon Jerry Hannon slash Man Hannon yeah. Hannon night. Hopefully yeah, we'll hopefully we'll have some of those, yeah, Hannon <laughs> moments, right? Please join us. Please join us this Saturday, March 19th at the Rafael Theater in San Rafael. Again, there will be a Q&A and, and a short after performance the screen, after the screening, and we'll probably all gather, we'll probably somewhere, all gather after somewhere after that. Jerry has a great show. Jerry has a great uh, show, uh, I believe, at the Hot the Monk. Next night with the next Morrison. night with Shannon Morrison. Please join us again. Please join us at again the at the Rafael Theater. Saturday. This March Saturday, 19th, March 19th, for the Mad Hannons, there'll be a Q&A and, and, we'll and a short performance after, and we'll after probably that. gather after that. We really appreciate we really the appreciate Raffel Theater and, the what, Raffel they Theater and what they, they do. The they are the cornerstone and anchor of independent, and anchor of independent and film and independent thinking. And Sarah Raffel, shout and out to the team over there. Shout, shout out to Dan, to Dan for making Go this happen. Go to the Raffel to website your to download today. your tickets today. Until next time. Until next time. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. But really celebrate, celebrate but Saturday, really celebrate on March Saturday, March 19th. Mm. See you then. Mm. Big Irish family. How many people in the family all together? Uh, there's six kids in our family. I'm number four and he's number six. Well, I once had a good life. He was exposed to things through me at a young age that perhaps he shouldn't have been exposed to. There was always music in the house all the time. Down and opened up my soul. 
had this energy that we discovered that we can really get a party going. Suddenly everybody knew the Mad Hannon. It was like instant rock star. <laughs> Jerry was the more responsible one, and Sean was the life of the party. It wasn't sustainable. And it's definitely not sustainable when you're drinking and doing drugs, which we were doing. Uh, you didn't hear that. I got chains on me. I got chains on me. And they cut me. Sean came down and played, and he did perfect. And that started to give me hope. And I'll never be the same. A couple leprechauns doing a jig. We didn't want to be like everyone else.